We also had a Tiger Woods sighting who was down in Flushing Meadows, New York at the U.S. Open. He was spotted cheering on Serena Williams during her second round win just a few nights ago. Tiger was sitting next to his girlfriend, Erica Herman, as well as Serena's sister, Venus. It was awesome to see. Just the two of them had some inspiring things to say about each other over the past couple days and over the years. They've got some sort of friendship. I don't know the exact extent of it, but certainly friendly enough to go sit in the box with her family. And it was, it was just cool to see Tiger hanging out in public, you know, cheering on Serena and being a fan. Remember a couple years ago, that was kind of when the world was introduced to his son, Charlie, when it was Tiger and Charlie sitting there watching the U.S. Open. So another cool thing to see. Now, Serena did end up losing in the next round. I didn't see if Tiger was at the next match, but just about every other celebrity in America was there. I did see now Denver Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson and his beautiful wife, Sierra, in attendance, as well as a bunch of actors all courtside. That had to be one of the hottest tickets in New York City in some time. I mean, think about, you know, we've had all the, the shutdown and closures, but you got to think, you know, the U.S. Open, no restrictions in place down there as far as, I mean, the players do, but not those in attendance. But you got to think, like, every agent and manager in, you know, the music business, the film business, Broadway, you know, all those agents from William Morris Agency and CAA and ICM, all there in attendance, wanting to be seen at the U.S. Open. I'm curious as to what tickets went for just to see the U.S. Open. It had to be huge, Jack. Not that Tiger was paying to get in there. He, you know, had his press pass around his neck, so I'm sure he got slid in for free. But all those hot shots, uh, you know, big wig music and, and entertainment industry hot shots all hanging around wanting to be seen definitely had to pay some huge cash. But one of the things that made me think of, I mean, Serena retiring – is almost the official end to an era in sports with the emergence of black athletes becoming the biggest superstars in what are both traditionally very white sports in golf and tennis. For decades, both golf and tennis were sports played and watched mostly by a white audience. Then at some point during the late 1990s and early 2000s, both Tiger Woods and Serena, and of course her sister Venus Williams, emerged as superstars in their respective sports and perhaps the best ever at what they do. Both Tiger and Serena helped change the notion of both golf and tennis being exclusive to white people. They changed how the world views and watches those sports, and that's amazingly special. They both broke down barriers and completely altered the perception of who and what golf and tennis are. It's incredible to think about. So although I had put zero thought into Serena retiring, I became completely captivated watching her last few matches, as well as all the U.S. Open over the past couple of weeks, and so... Part of it was because I began to understand the significance of what Serena retiring meant, especially with Tiger Woods there front and center in attendance. Um, it was just really cool to see. Now, I've got to think Nike may be concocting some sort of sports marketing plan to reel in an older audience of people my age to get us to buy more Nike with some emotionally based commercial, you know, what was happening with Serena and Tiger this past week. And so who knows, maybe it's all a marketing ploy because nothing Tiger does is by accident. Either way, it was a special moment and the significance of all of it wasn't lost on me.